This is Gemara and Erevin, Daf Yudzayin. Again, the learning for Chayyid Shalal has been sponsored as a Chosr for Hashem for Shana Tov Bas Esther, as well as Chosr Lidon Nishmasa for Esther Rizal Bas Ramir, whose yard site I believe is today, as well as for our Chayyid Yudemir Ben Yakir, Emmanuel Ben Figel Chaim, Avram Ben Chayyid Chaim, Ben Sir Shlomim Ben Yizid, Osar Bas Kenenda, Tibasiyam Bas Chayyid Sar Yisrael Ben Sar Esther Yisrael Ben Mindol. And as a prejudice to the Shavuot, you know, Ben Chayyid Sar Tzar Shlomim Bas Naomi Ben Shavuot Figel Ben Shir Chaner Faldav Ben Yitriva. We say Yisrael. We pick it up from the bottom of Yud Tazayin Omid Beis. Again, if anyone, I know that we read this last Gemara slightly quickly, but it's okay because really it's going to be a, continu- a conversation really that's going to continue in today's Gemara and hopefully after today's Gemara we'll have clarity. But basically, the basic points that we were discussing is we have a Shayara. We have a caravan, someone who's camping, someone who's traveling, and on Shabbos comes and he can't carry because he's in the middle of nowhere. So what does he want to do? He wants to create an area that he can carry. And the question is, how big of an area is he allowed to create? And is this a din that when you take these ropes, we said, we spoke about, you take one rope, two ropes, three ropes, each one is three tvachim apart, so you have lavud, thereby creating a ten, tef, ten tefach tall wall, machitz, and thereby creating a rishos that you could carry in. So we had a machlekes, whether this was a special din for shayara, so in traveling, whether it's a din for everyone, and as well, how much area are you going to get? Is it going to be something that you're going to get as much area as you want, or is it going to be something that a person only gets the amount of area that a person needs, which usually is Beis Asayim, which is Tusa. So the Gemara here on the bottom of the Zayin Medbiz begins Darish of Nachman, and even though it's really after two dots, it's really a continuation of the previous Sugya, says the Gemara. We are seven lines before the end of the Amr of the Zayin Medbiz, Darish of Nachman, Yishon Rabbein Yishmuel, Yachin Nasla Beis Asayim, a singular person, how much area does he get? Tusa. Bees, two people knows the Bees Asayim, he also gets Tusa. Gimel, three people knows the Shayara, that becomes a Shayara, becomes a caravan, it becomes a group, three is a group, and then the Nights of the and then he gets six saw. Again, two seemingly two saw for each person. Says Gemara, and this is what Rav Nachman said in the name of Rabbi Ishmael. Ask the Gemara, Shavkas Rabbanan, Bob, this Kavyesi, Rabbi Yehuda, what's going on over here? We know that the Rabbanan hold that you get called Tzarka and you get as much as you want. Rabbi Yehuda was the opinion that it held that you got two saw per person. So seemingly Rav Nachman is darshaning in the name of Rabbi Ishmael that how much you're getting two saw per person when it's three people, you still only get up to six saw. Says the Gemara, Hadra Aikim Rav Nachman. Rav Nachman afterwards went and said that really there are Moroyim that hold this way. And he said, That which I said, was a, was a mistake. However, in truth, the following is the din. One person gets Bisasayim. Shnayim, two people, Bisasayim. But once we have three people traveling, again, three people traveling, they stop in Shabbos. They want to create these makeshift walls in order to carry within. In it, three people Nasa Shayara and that's them called Sark, and then they get called Sark. And so what's changing? What's changing is that once there are three people, then we're calling it a Shayara, and then he's getting called Sark. So now the Gemara, it's a little bit better because at least now it's at some level going to be in the Rabbanon, but the Gemara asks, and Tabi Zayna and Aleph. Rasha of Yisra of Yudav Sefer Abanan. What's going on over here? The first part, when he said one person gets two saw, two people get four saw, two saw a piece. That's according to the opinion of Yisra of Yudav that every person gets two saw. The Sefer Abanan. Then it said, but if it's three people, then it's a Shayara. And then how much do you get? Then you get as much as you want. Well, that's according to the Rabbanan. Why don't you just go with the Rabbanan all the way? The Rabbanan held that even one person, even a Yachid and non Shayara, is going to be able to get the amount that they need. Says the Gemara in, no, you're correct. The Risha is of Yisra of Yehuda, and the Sefer is the Rabbanan. Why? Bisham the Kaya Vu Bishita say that is what his father of Yehuda held. And that is the end of the statement that Rav Nachman said in the name of Rabbi Nishmo. Amar Av Giddel Amar Av, Shleisha, a seemingly cryptic statement. Shleisha, three people, Bechamesh, in five saw Asurin, is forbidden. Bisheva, but in seven, Mutarin, it's going to be permissible. Again, three and five is Asur, in seven, it's Mutar. Says the Gemara, fourth line, Amru Lay, they said to him, Amar Rav, Achi, did Rav really say this again? Is Rav Giddel Amar Rav? Did Rav really say that in five it's Asr, in seven it's Mutter? Amar Lua, Raisa, Nevi, Uksivi, it's Lashon of Ashmua, by the Tyrant, the Nevim, the Ksuvim. Yes, this is what Rav said. Amar Rav, Achi, Amar Rav Ashi, this is what Rav Ashi said, my Kashya. What's the question? What's wrong? I just told you the three get five is forbidden, three get seven is Mutter. What's the problem? Dilma Achi, Kamar. This is what Rav meant. 
Three people, each person normally gets two sa. So if they need six sa, they keep u b'shava. And what do they do? They didn't surround six sa's worth. They surrounded seven sa's worth, meaning they surrounded more than they need. Afilu b'shava mutarin. Even though it's more than they need, it's going to be permissible. Why? Because we've learned that you're allowed to have up until Two extra. This isn't two extra. It's only one. So it's going to be mutter. Or th- or depending on the gersa. If they only need five. They keep ubishava and then they surround it for seven. So now what do they do? They did two extra. Then I feel surin. Then even five is going to be forbidden. So it's not a question. Explains Rab. If you did a little more than you need, that's okay. If you did two more sa than you need, that is not okay. Says the Gemara. Well, tani. One second, now which we learned, but actually based on Sayyid Panui, we learned to the Mishnah that it's okay as long as you don't have two sa open, which is seemingly what the equation that we just said was. As long as it wasn't two sa extra, it's okay. My love, what does it sound like? Panui me adam. Sounds like it just can't be extra for people. Meaning, when we had three people and they needed six saw and they did seven saw, so it's one extra saw, that wasn't a big deal. Why? Because it was not pa- two saw, panui of people, two saw open of people. Says Gemara Law, no, it's actually not true. Panui me kalim. It means that you have to have two saw that are open of kalim. Meaning, and let's actually, let's, let's pause for a moment, let's swing to the right of our page and let's look. Garashi. My love pony me Adam. So the Gemara asks, you're telling me that it means that you don't have any people in that area? Kigoin. Shloisha Shekifua Ches Son. Three people when they surrounded eight saw, which we said is no good. Why? Because that's two extras. Chiyav Zachol Chad Beis Asayim. Akati Bashlu Beis Asayim Panu. There's two open below Bailim without any owners. Again, each person seemingly gets two saw. So if three did eight, three get six is an extra two. Aval Zayin Loi. Why? Chiyav is Beis Asayim. The Kol Chad Loi Pashle El Chad Beis Abloi Bailim. It's only one extra, and Sydney, that would be okay. Says the Gemara, Loi, that's not accurate. Pani mi kalim. It means it can't be free of kalim. Kaloimar. Very important. Explains Rashi. Whenever Rashi has a kaloimar, means Rashi is coming to add something in that you would not have necessarily known. Kaloimar. Sheesh bein machitzas bein sasayim panui. Shalo hayat srichem lo. Meaning, now we're going subjective. How many, how much, you know, how many bags do you got? You're flying in the plane. You got two bags, you got five bags. Here, you're camping for Shabbos. How many bags do you got? And the amount of bags that you get, you're going to get more and more area. So, punning the Kalim, it's free of Kalim. Even though there's three people, it means three Chalil Beis Vicky Fu Let's say these three people only needed two saw and they surrounded four. They didn't have so much baggage. They didn't have so much stuff with them. Nami Balim it also would be an issue, meaning it's subjective. It's totally, it depends on how many items you have. It does not solely depend on the Bailam that you are. Says the Gemara, continuing the similar theme again, with the same story. Someone's traveling, you come Shabbos, he wants to create makeshift walls. How much area does he get? It's my relearned. Shleisha, we're about 12 lines in. First one the line is Shleisha. Shleisha, there were three people before Shabbos began. Umeis Echamayam, and one of them is Nifter. Shnayim, or there were two people. Vini Taisvo Aleyam, and then the third person joins the group on Shabbos. Ravuna of Rav Yitzchak. So in these two cases, again, either we detract a person or we added a person on Shabbos. Before Shabbos was one status, on Shabbos was another status, and basically the discussion of our Gemara is going to be what, at what point do we determine how much area do you get? Does it go on who was there before Shabbos? Does it go who was there on Shabbos? Says the Ravuna of Rav Yitzchak, Chad Omar, Shabbos, Goy Ramis. Shabbos causes it. When Shabbos begins, we take a snapshot, Muksa similarly, as we've seen in the Gemara and Shabbos, that Shabbos Caused it so when Shabbos begins, if there were three people, then it's called a uh, Shayara, it's called a caravan, they get X amount. If it was two people when Shabbos begins, then they get that amount. And Rashi explains that the case, then the practical application is going to be let's say there were two people and they surrounded too much of an area. Two people, they surrounded an area of eight. We know that's no good. Or two people, they surrounded an area of six. We know that's no good. But I became Shabbos and another person jumped on board. Now there's three people, and three people for six is great. Says one of being Shabbos, Kairamis, when Shabbos begins, that is. Is what determines how much area you get. And if when Shabbos begins, you took too much, the mechitz is no good. If Shabbos begins, you have the right amount, even if subsequently on Shabbos, one of the people disappears, he's nifter, her, still it's okay. V'chan amar t'yurin gairin, no. Practically on Shabbos, how many people are you? Right now you're two people, you get four. Right now you're three people, you get six. I don't care what was there before Shabbos, that is the machleik, is Rabbi Una, 
and Rav Yitzchak. Says the Gemara, it is time to Rav Huna, who the Amr Shabbos Gerevis, let me bring you a proof. The Rav Huna is the one that holds the Shabbos cause the Dhamma Rabba, Dhamma Rabba. Boy, he may Rav Huna, they ask Rav Huna, boy, he may Rav Yudah, they ask Rav Yudah. Erev Derech HaPesach. We know a, a concept that we've seen many times and we're going to see again in a length. There's something called an Erev Chatzirah. two Rosh Hashayachids, two houses, let's say, that open into each other. You're not allowed to carry Midr from one to another. So let's say there's a doorway connecting the two areas. So everything is good. What do you know have to do? You have to make an Erev. You have to uh, loaf of bread or something like that, a combination to connect the Rosh So what happens? Erev Derech HaPesach. There was a doorway between these two Rosh and you made an Erev. Venista HaPesach. And Shabbos comes and the doorway closes up. Or you made it through a window. The window closes up. Now, what's the din in this case? And Rav Huna or Rav Yudu responded, Shabbos Hoyl Vahotra Hotra. Once Shabbos began, once it was permitted, it was permitted to stay in. So that's a raya that what Rav Huna hold, Rav Huna held, it depends on when Shabbos begins. Shabbos began, you had a doorway. Shabbos began, you had a window. You made your ear booze kosher. We don't care what happened subsequently. Similarly, in our case, Shabbos began, you had three people and you surrounded an area of six sa, even if on Shabbos one of them is nifter. So now you only have two people for six sa, which is too much. It's going to be okay because everything goes by when Chavez begins, to stay him, says Gemara, it's a wonderful right, it's the opinion of Rav Huna. Says the Gemara, Lame Rav Huna, Rav Yitzchak, but look to the Rav Yitzchak, Rav Yehuda, Kamefliki. Maybe this Machlech is Rav Huna and Rav Yitzchak, whether it goes when Chavez begins, or it goes practically how many people are there now, is the Machlech is Rav Yitzchak and Rav Yehuda. That's an hour learned in the Mishnah. Chatzar, Shnifzah, Mishnei, Ruchai, Seho. You have a Chatzar, that two of the walls fall down. V'chein bayis, or a house, shnifz b'shtei ruchay sal. That two of the walls fall down. V'chein mavoy, or a mavoy, or an alleyway, or cul de sac, shnit l'kai reisav. The kaira that we've been discussing for the last 16 blat, the horizontal beam falls. Oy lechayav, or the vertical beam, the lechay falls. Mu'utarin l'aysay shabis. For that shabis, you're allowed to carry. V'asurin l'asit lavoy, div Rabbi Yehuda. That's Rabbi Yehuda held. Rabbi Yehuda held. If shabis began and was good, subsequently it falls, that shabis, you're okay. Seemingly, that's going to be according to the opinion, like Rav Huna, the Shabbos Kei Remes. Rav Yaisi Aymar, in Mutarin Laisei Shabbos, Mutarin Laisei Lavoy. In Asurin Laisei Lavoy, Asurin Laisei Shabbos. What does that mean? So Rashi explains what Rav Yaisi means to teach us, is that since Laisei Lavoy, it's going to be forbidden, there's no longer four walls, there's no longer a Kaira, there's no longer a Lachi, it's going to be forbidden now. Seemingly, Rav Yaisi is going with the opinion of Rav Yitzchak, that it goes by the urine, it goes by what's going on on Shabbos. Practically, do you have a Lachi, do you have a Kaira, do you have walls? Answer is no, you can't carry. So Lema Rav Huna, Damer Rav Yehuda, as we just explained, Rav Yitzchak, so seemingly the argument the same Achleikis, which of course whenever the Gemara says this, it's a question. We don't want Amoraiim to be our Rav Huna and Rav Yitzchak to be having the same Achleikis as Tanaim Rav Yehuda and Rav Yaisi. Arm Lecha Rav Huna. Rav Huna answers that no, the Amri Afilu Rav Yaisi. I now before we actually read this inside, let's explain the concept. There were really two different things. One was discussing the mechitzas that you had on Chavez, and one was discussing how many people do you need to have in order to enclose an area to permit carrying in that area on Chavez. We, the Gemara and the Havamina, wanted to equate the two and say, Mandamar that old Shabbos Geremes holds that a Shabbos is a snapshot. The Mandamar holds the Urin Geremes holds we go practical. The Gemara now says, no, we can split the two cases both ways. Arm the Ravuna, Ravuna responds, who holds normally Shabbos Geremes, and now Dami, I feel the Rabbi Yaisi. I can go even to the Binyan Rabbi Yaisi, then in case of that Lech, in the case of that Kayer that fell, it's going to be forbidden. Why? I, 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 why is it forbidden when Shabbos began? It was forbidden. I can't look at Rabbi Yaisi, awesome wrist, and say he's in over there, El Dilis Naya Machid. There are no machitas anymore. Meaning, when Shabbos happens, you look around, you got no walls, you got no lech, you got no kaira. Halcha, but in our case, it's not the machitas. You have walls. So maybe by us, we could say Shabbos Kairames. I, one of the people, is nifter, but you still have the machitas. That's one difference. Is that in our case, you still have the walls. In that case, you do not. Rav Yitzchak Amar, he explains, I know that I'm here for Rabbi Yehuda. The exact opposite. Rav Yitzchak says, I can't even go with Rabbi Yehuda. I can't come Rabbi Yehuda. the Isnayul the urine. Halchal is not with the urine. Here there's nothing left. You got no people there. And therefore each opinion says it's not necessarily absolute that the two machlegs are dependent upon each other. And that is the maskana of the Gemara. We do have a machleg of Rehuna and Rav Yitzchik where the Shabbos Kairam is a snapshot of the urine Kairam. It goes practically how many people are there. But it's not necessarily dependent on the same machleg as Rav Yossi and Rav Yehuda. Says the Gemara just concluding for this part of the Gemara. The Chacham concluded in the mission of one of the two. I know Tanakama. It seems that's the same thing as the Tanakama. Of a singular person, not out in the desert, but rather within civilization. 
That will be the machlekas, how much area you're allowed to enclose in that area. And let's continue, says the Mishnah. Says the Mishnah, Yezayin Amr Alf, the bottom quarter of the Amr. Once we're discussing, we just got into a lengthy discussion. You're traveling and you want to create makeshift walls and Shabbos. So now we continue with Bemachana. You have soldiers, certain leniencies that we created for a soldier out in the field. Maybe in eight sin number one, they'll let it take wood from wherever they want, be called maka from anywhere. Ubaturim erchitz is yidai, and they don't have to wash their hands. Medamai, the lady, demai, which is which is when it's a suffix, we're not sure if the proper treatments of mice were um, uh, separated. Umei la arave, and they don't have to create an arave, an arave, and the Gemara is going to explain each and every one. Says the Gemara, Tanurah, Bahanan, Machana yoitzis lemilchama. Someone who's going out to war, lemilchames harishos. Lemilchames harishos, as Rashi explains over here, you see Rashi, Rashi explains Tam Melcham, when he says Melcham is a Rishos Why? Because once Melcham is Yeshua Be'elech from Yeshua and on, that was the last Melcham is Mitzvah and afterwards Melcham is a Rishos Says the Gemara one more time Tana Rabbanan, Machna Yotz is a Melcham a Rishos Mu'utarim Be'gezel Eitzim Yeveshim, and Rashi says even Yeveshim, it's a Chidesh, they're allowed to take any wood they want, they're allowed to go into anyone's backyard and grab some wood, and even the dry wood certainly the moist wood, but the dry wood was a, large, a better commodity because you use it as firewood, they're even allowed to take that, if you depend, hey, my mayor, and if a soldier falls, a soldier is nifter, right then and there, it doesn't make a difference if you're in someone else's backyard, you're allowed to bury the soldier. Says the Gemara, now the Gemara is going to dissect those three things we just said, you're allowed to take the wood, you're allowed to bury the soldier, and you're allowed to go wherever you want. Says the Gemara, Mutarim because they eats him, Yeveshim, they're allowed to take whatever wood they want, Yeveshim, referring even to dry wood. Says the Gemara, what's going on over here? From our Mishnah, what does it seem? That this was a special takana for soldiers. Hai takanta di Yeshu, have they? Ask the Gemara, this was a takana of Yeshua that had to do when they were Kaivish Eretz Yisrael, but nothing to do with special soldiers. Damar Mar, Asara Tanai, Mr. Yeshua, Shei Marin, Belchar Shin Malak, and Eitzim, he said, they'll say him, they're allowed to take the wood. Answers the Gemara, no, it was different. Hasam, the Gzir of Yeshua, to allow taking the wood of his be. The Higi were the thorns and the bad wood. Halcha bishari itzim is all woods. Inami hasam bichubarim. Rabbi Yeshua was talking about only wood that was attached to the ground. Halcha betzlushin, even wood that was cut down. Inami hasam belacha by moist. Halcha beyavashim is a special gezira, the dry wood, the detached wood, even the good wood that the soldiers were allowed to take. Rabbi Yehuda ben Teima Imer. Wherever someone is nifter, he's buried. Says Gemar Pshita, of course, wherever he's, someone is killed, he's buried. Mace Mitzvah. We know the concept of a Mace Mitzvah. It's a Mace Mitzvah lying in the middle of the street that gets the highest priority and allowed to bury wherever you want. As we see, Mace Mitzvah. Who Mace Mitzvah, what's the din? Says Gemar in the last line, he's saying, I'm an Aleph. Koinem Koimai, the Mace Mitzvah acquires its place. And it acquires its place, meaning he's allowed to bury it there. So, of course, the soldier is going to be allowed to do the same thing. And says Gemar, like, Tzricha, what's the even though moving along to Yezayin on base, closing out the final Amr of the first parak, Afal Gav this Lake even though there are people to bury this soldier. The Tanya, like we learned in Abraisa, Ezehu Mace Mitzvah, what is a Mace Mitzvah? Kosha Ein Lake Kaivrim, someone who doesn't have someone to bury him. Kaira, you call out this person's nifter, you call out, is anyone here to bury him? Vachirma, he name Isai. And someone answers, says, Oh, I'm a relative, I'm going to bury him. Ain't a Mace Mitzvah. Such a case is not a Mace Mitzvah, therefore you would not be allowed to bury him wherever you want. And, but however, in our, but if he's a soldier, then he still can bury him wherever you want. Who says the Gemara further? What? You just quoted me a Mishnah that a Mace Mitzvah buries wherever you want. It's in the Sratia, it's in the big open plazas. Someone who's carrying it, a Mace Mutal Bisratia, it's in the Sratia, it's in the big open plazas. You should bring him to the right. You should go either to the right or to the left. Go off the main road. If you have a choice to put it in a plowed field or not plowed field, go into the unplowed field. If you have a choice to bury this Mez Mitzvah in either a plowed field or in a uh, sown field, a field that they planted seeds already, go into the non planted fields. How you stay in the Let's say they're equal. You have two different fields that are planted, two plowed, two regular. So the Gemara's is bothered. You just told me a minute ago that a may smith for you bury Mikaimai where it is. Seems clearly in this rice and that. This rice that seems clearly that you should use your use your uh, wisdom, use your logic, use your seichel, and bury it in the most opportune place, the closest place, but not right then and there. If it's a plowed field, go to the not plowed field, etc. 
Amar Habibi, no, that b'risa that said, you got to take it to whichever field you want, that's a mace lying on the bound, on the borders. It's blocking off the road. It's lying in the road. You got to move that mace. The Kahanim are going to come. It's going to make them tame. So you got to move away the mace. And since you're allowed to move away the mace, mina mitzar, from the bound of borders, then you're allowed to take it and then you calculate where you put it. But a real mace mitzvah just sitting somewhere, you buried right then and there. However, the Mishnah was teaching us a chiddish, even on top of that, that even when it's not a mace mitzvah, you're allowed to bury it wherever you want when it's a soldier. Says the Gemara, and it is potter from washing your hands. The, the soldiers, Amar Abay, Elohim, Mayim Rishonim. That only means Mayim Rishonim, we wash our hands before bread. Avo Mayim Achroinim Chayva. It's one of the big statements when we learn Mayim Achroinim. We see that the soldiers don't wash Mayim Rishonim. They don't wash before eating the bread. But Mayim Achroinim, before you bench, that's a Chayva, that's an obligation. Amar Achayim, Rashim, Neyma, Amru Mayim Achroinim Chayva. What is the reason? Neshemel, Sadaime. It's because the soul that could damage. Yeshem, Islam, is a Nayim that could blind the person. Amar Abayim, which talks about the Kikura. We found in a court which is the measurement of kura, this teeny little bit amount. Amr Leravacha, Brei the Rav Leravashi, Kyle Milcha Mai. What if someone actually mines salt? We're talking about someone who finishes a meal, and therefore we're concerned. You might have a little bit of salt in your fingers, so you got to do a mayim achrayin. And what if someone who's actually measuring salt? Let's say Kyle Milcha, he's measuring salt. Amr Lei, hello me boy. Of course, if you're actually playing with salt, of course you have to wash your hands. This is one of the big makayris that one should wash his hands before he benches mayim achrayin. Of course, we know there are different minhagim. The Shulchan Aruch already quotes such a thing. There, yeah, because you don't. But if one does not have a meaning, then of course we're seeing in a gemara here. We learned it here at the end of the first parak, that it is an obligation to wash your hands. And we see so far that even a soldier who doesn't wash Mayim Rishayim before he eats the bread, he still watches, my, washes Mayim Achrayim. Um, the last thing that the Mishnah taught us was that these soldiers are allowed to eat the Mai. The Mai is something that we're not sure if they took of Chumas and It says the Gemara does not learn to the Mishnah. We're at the two dots. About, I don't know, 10, 15 lines for the end of the parak. First word of line is Ditsinat. Ditsinan, anyone who's looking on the screen, you'll see it in front of you. Ditsinan, learn to the Mishnah. Machilin is Aniyim Demai. And this is actually something that we saw in Gemar and Shabbos. Now we see the Makar. You had to feed Aniyim. Poor people are allowed to eat Demai. Again, Demai is something that we're not sure. Now Ma'ar, it says produce. And we're not sure if you took off the appropriate, not just produce or wheat or whatever. And we're not sure if you took off the appropriate uh, Chumas and Maestris. Aniyim are allowed to eat it. Tevesa Achsanya Demai, as well as an Achsanya soldiers are also allowed to eat the mai, and that's really what our Mishnah is teaching us. No, you're not allowed to feed that niyam, and the soldiers to mai, which of course, what we pass like, that's our Mishnah. Machlin is a niyam, demai, vesachsani, denai, you're allowed to feed them, demai. Umalari, even the final thing that the Mishnah said is that the soldiers do not have to make an Eirev. What is this talking about? Amrit Vir, Yani, Eloi, Shonuel, Eir, Chatzirois. Ah, that's Eirev, Chatzirois. Again, you have two Rishas Yachas to carry between each one. Is it in the Rabbana? So the soldiers are allowed to carry without making a proper Eirev, without combining with the bread and whatnot. Aval Eirev, the Chumen, Chayavim. But Eirev, the Chumen, to walk more than 2,000 Amais. That they are chayyav to do if they want to walk outside of the chumim. The Tanya Rav Yechia, as Rav Yechia taught us, like in Aleiv Tchumim, we give malchus for Aleiv Tchumim. Tvar Tayra Midaraisa. So we see Aleiv Tchumim as a higher level did, and therefore the soldiers it's a din daraisa. We can't forgive them that, and the soldiers have to be careful on that. Says Gemara, one second. You just told me, and this should remind us of a Gemara in Shabbos. You just told me that you're going to get malchus. For ear of the for going outside the chum, mask of Larab Yenus of Chiloik and Alav Shebe Al, the boss says, Al Yetze, don't carry outside, don't go outside the chum. Is there Malkus for something that says Al? Says the Gemara, a mask of Rachel Riyaka, Velamiata, the Chseva Altavnel, obviously, while you're done in different of a Dizara, Hachanami to Laki? Of course, you ask him Malkus. So what's bothering you? The fact that it says Al, you like him Malkus when it says Al? Ravina said, Hachikashli. Says the Gemara, no, no, this was a question. Lav Shemit and Lazara, as Misa, as Bezdin. Again, this will remind us of the Gemara and Shabbos where we saw this with regard to other Malachis. Whenever we have a lap that potentially one could incur the death penalty, Lazar is Misabazdin. And that is seemingly what Tuchumen is. V'cholav Shanitan Lazar is Misabazdin, ain't like in a love. It's one of the Malachis, similarly to carrying, carrying in a Rosh Hashanah Says the Gemara, if there's a potential Daraisa, a death penalty that one could be killed for being Iber, certainly then the rule is you don't get Malchus for that din. So why are you telling me that if Tuchumen? You're going to potentially get Malkus. Amar Ravashi miksev al yoitze al yoitze ksev. No, the pasuk that we're referring to is not referring to potential misa. The pasuk we're referring to is referring to the chumin. Chumin does not get a misa, and therefore there will be Malkus on it. Who would have thought that we learned the first paragraph of Erevin? I'm sure many people were scared when we start. Hopefully by now. 
the fears have alleviated and everyone realizes that Baruch Hashem, Eirvin, with all the pictures and all the technology, is certainly attainable. Lovely. I hope we all join us with the Chazara, everyone do their own Chazara, and we shall return. We're not going to do the whole Mishnah, we're just going to make a Haschala, we never stop at the end of a parak. Let's begin. We saw in the first parak, you have this well, and you want to make a Mechitzas around the well so the animals can drink from the well in Shabbos. So how do you make this Mechitzas? It says, Yehuda, you make four corners, which are eight, because each one is a corner, two, four, six, eight. Rameir, Aimer, Shemayin, and Nirin, Kishnei, or no, you need to be eight, which is like twelve. How is that? Arba, Diyom, Din, Arba, Pshutim, which is the four corners, which is eight, plus another four in the middle, which equals twelve. Kaivin, Asar, Tvach, must be ten, Tvachim, Tov, Rachim, and Shisha, and six, Tvachim, Oid, but Ovi, and Koshu, and any amount of thickness. Ubenen, Kamali, Shtei, Riv, Kai, Shal, 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 Shbak, and Rameir, Vyuda, Mishal, Arba, Kshur, Islam, Mutarais, Achdus, Lech, Vachas, Yosais, and again, we'll pick it up from the Mishnah tomorrow. Mazel Tov in the first barrack of Ervin. Hopefully, you'll be able to learn many, many more together.